H1N1 related deaths in Rhode Island. 36 children have died from the virus. 76 children have died from the H1N1 virus since April. The government now believes roughly 8 million children have come down with the virus. The infection is spreading. Well, stockpiling vaccines, closing schools, and letting government employees work from home. Prepare, don't panic. They say the best way to prepare is to have your family vaccinated. The vaccine appears to be safe. The Obama administration is considering implementing a new fall vaccination program against the flu. Composed of mercury, and it's been proven to cause not only Guillain-Barre syndrome, but also autism. Where schools across the United States, from Kentucky to New York, are forcibly inoculating children with the H1N1 flu vaccine, even when their parents have instructed them not to do so. And again, when the schools get caught, they say, oops, we made a mistake. President Obama has now declared the H1N1 virus to be a national emergency. The White House says the president signed this proclamation last night. It will allow medical officials to bypass certain federal requirements. And so because there is this big backlash, they're hyping the H1N1 really as an excuse to try to set the precedent to forcibly inoculate the population. I was uh, working for one of the local hospitals as a security officer and my supervisor notified me that there was a training opportunity. A team was being formed with Homeland Security. Primarily our job as law enforcement would be to uh, remove the people from their homes. School buses would be uh, brought into the neighborhoods. We would go door to door in teams and we would evacuate the people from their homes and take them to a decontamination area and then sending them to secure facilities. I mean, that whole description is exact what they did to the Jews during the Holocaust. If you've been diagnosed with probable or presumed 2009 H1N1 or swine flu in recent months, you may be surprised to know this. The odds are you didn't have H1N1 flu. In fact, you probably didn't have flu at all. We were told that takedown tactics would be necessary. Uh, some of these people will not go willingly. We must take them down. And they warned us about that, that there's going to be homeowners that may have a gun in the home or may have a gun on their person. Uh, so be prepared uh, to use tasers, uh, pepper spray, and possibly even lethal force. Police department! Well, I don't want you in here. Well, the Chichikone protests were to no avail. Um, they moved her out of there. The flu virus, or any type of biological threat, is the perfect cover for martial law and control because it's something that makes everyone a potential threat. It makes everyone a potential carrier, everyone a potential terrorist, carrying the terrorist virus. This helps us submit to tyranny. It helps us suspect our neighbors. It helps us see the government as our savior and the arbiter. And it divides the people against each other. Um, what are your thoughts on or house-to-house uh, -house gun confiscation or, or if the Marines would ever have to do that in America? I really don't want to speculate on that. For many of the police and guard troops, it is an uncomfortable job to do this in an American city. Evacuees are flooding this embarkation center. Now, despite the large number of people and pets, things are running very smoothly. Now, this efficiency can be attributed to a technology solution brought on by Radiant RFID. The jurisdiction is able to get an accurate manifest on every single person getting on the bus just by walking them through this simple portal. Well, the Lucid Technology Building is located in western Oklahoma City. It's a huge, huge building, uh, lots of open warehouse space, almost completely surrounded by barbed wire fence with secured gates that have guard shacks beside them. Uh, and then in the back, you, there's rail access, you know, which you know, meets the, the, the criteria of what people call a FEMA concentration camp. I mean, there's no sign out front that says FEMA concentration camp. But it's one of these stills where, you know, it's a spray area, but, you know, immediately that when they wanted to utilize it, it could be put into effect. Will you voluntarily become a captive of one of these quarantine or detention camps? What will you do? Will you go quietly? This is the total federalization slash internationalization with this huge control grid that is meant to protect the establishment from the people as they expand their tyranny. Because they expect for you to resist them as this corruption expands, as a rebellion forms against this Hitlerian takeover. And you're going to be named, you're going to be listed as a terrorist because you don't submit to them and become their slave. This is obviously a cause for concern and requires 
heightened state of alert.